Utah Supreme Court heard arguments today if ballots with late postmarks should actually be counted in Utah's second congressional district Republican primary. Colby Jenkins is challenging the results of his narrow loss to Congresswoman Celeste Malloy. New specialist Lindsay Ertz was at the hearing, joins us live right now. And Lindsay, this is concerning ballots traveling to Vegas to be postmarked, correct? Yeah, that's right, Mike. So the Jenkins campaign is essentially saying that the United States Post Office here interfered in this election because of uh, these late postmarks. But the state says that's not the case, and they want the arguments tossed out altogether. That responsibility lies with the voter, not with the Postal Service. And to that end, we have counties telling voters, get your ballots in early to make sure they are postmarked by the deadline. No power, civil or military, shall interfere to prevent the free exercise of suffrage. By statute, Utah has allowed, by reliance on the Postal Service's mail delivery practices, civil interference in the state's elections. Now, the Jenkins camp wants the Supreme Court to count about 1,100 late ballots, but the justices seemed leery of how they would determine which ones actually were processed in Vegas, and they pushed the Jenkins team on whether Utah's postmark law was indeed unconstitutional. Now, we also caught up with Jenkins after the hearing, and I asked him directly if the court rules against him, will he accept the results of the election? If we lose here, we will cer we're certainly grateful that we've tried to, to exhaust every legal means for us to go. But, but, but yes, that, that's how our nation operates, is under a rule. Now, we don't know exactly when the justices might rule on this, but this is pretty much a last-ditch effort for the Jenkins campaign to change the outcome of this primary. Back to you. All right, Lindsay Ertz, live for us this evening. Thank you.